Quantum levitation, which we can commonly see in demonstrations with superconductors at low temperatures, works thanks to two physical phenomena. First, the Meissner effect, which tells us that when a superconductor is in an area with a magnetic field, the magnetic flux inside the superconductor is cancelled, expelling it outwards and generating a repulsive force in the opposite direction. Only with this effect, a superconductor could levitate over magnets, but it would not be stable. However, a special type of superconductor, known as a type 2 superconductor, lets a small part of that flux pass through, generating a second physical phenomenon known as flux pinning. Here, the magnetic flux that manages to pass through the superconductor is concentrated in small tubes where the Meissner effect is cancelled out. However, since the rest of the material continues to repel any magnetic flux, these tubes are trapped inside, without being able to change. Due to this, the superconductor is also trapped, levitating with a stable separation and orientation and being able to move only through areas that have a similar magnetic flux.